Hello and welcome to today's video. This should be a part one. I'm having problems within lag on this video. And therefore, I'm going to try to make it short. So if this gets, if the time lags, and the it's different within the, uh, uh, there's a time lag within the video, that's uh, because of software issues I'm trying to fix that I obviously can't. I want to talk about silver and the volume. And uh, this is the volume of freestockcharts.com. It ain't real. Uh, what could be real, and what is real, is the amount of volume that you would get on a website, and whether this information is right or not. What, I, what is real is the physical uh, volume of people buying silver. And this is the uh, silver minted coins, and this is from uh, usmint.gov. There was 40 million ounces of silver sold in the month, year of 2011. Let's use different examples like 2007, which had 10 million. 95, four and a half million. So more people are buying silver. This is the volume that I'm looking for. And uh, this is the chart. This is the chart of volume for silver. This is taking these numbers in here, monthly data. This is how much silver sold per month. How many ounces? Two million, which was resistance multiple times, is now support. Now on this side here, I have the silver price, and I can now put pricing into it now and what we see here is that this this chart here these are just quickly drawn up charts this is how many millions of dollars have been put into silver on a monthly basis so people didn't buy as much back then they're now buying a lot more it all started in here and boom shakalaka as they might say at least i might say and i did say this is the running average of the last two years it's only doing one thing, going higher. So if you're looking for volume confirmation, well, this might be it. Thank you for watching this video, and I'm hoping that the uh, sound and video times works together well. Bye-bye.